to a brand new video where today we're talking about the PlayStation 4 system update 5.0. Currently, we're on the version, I think, 4.72. But I've always wanted to do a community wish list. Pretty much, I have looked on forums, I've looked on Twitter, basically everywhere I could find where people were talking about the system update 5.0, what features people would like to see in this update. And to be honest, I have a bunch of features and we might do a part two even because there's so many ideas from you guys. It's honestly amazing. But today's video is talking about what the community wants. And what I want from you guys is to comment down below what features you want to see. And maybe you can relate to the features I'll be talking about in today's video. Or maybe I've missed something. I don't know. But hopefully I picked up like some of the main stuff. Because some people do say the PlayStation 4 is perfect or near enough perfect. Some people are saying it's a great system. But they're still, they still need to add more stuff, right? And, you know, do you prefer Xbox Live or PSN? I mean, you know, it, it obviously it's like always, there's always going to be a console war, right? But, you know, ever since PlayStation have introduced a paid subscription service rather than having it for free, they have, you know, done pretty well. And, you know, Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus are very similar. But obviously, you know, both sides can do better things and add new features. So today's video is talking about the update, the system update 5.0. We all know there's going to be a massive update coming to the PlayStation 4, you know, whenever they release a solid number. So if it, for example, if it was like system update 3 or system update 4 or system update 5, you know it's a very big update with a, you know, a bunch of new features, which I'm very excited about. So today's video is talking about the PlayStation for system update 5.0 community wish list. So if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, comment down below your thoughts regarding this. You know, have I missed some certain features which you guys want to see? Please let me know your thoughts, guys, down below in the comment section. So the features which I found from the community, from forums, social media, etc., we have a pretty decent amount. So some of the features we'll be talking about in today's video are uh, an activity log, PlayStation 1 support, PlayStation 2 support, PlayStation 3 backwards compatibility, PlayStation ID change, hide items in a library, ability to sort games in a folder and fix a notification menu. Apparently a lot of people want the old notifications. So those are the features we'll be talking about. So the first thing is an activity log. Now what people are requesting here is they want to see, you know, the games they've got the most achievements on in terms of like, I know you can see your trophies, but they want to see, you know, a leaderboard to see which is their best games. They want to see, you know, how long they've played a certain game for, you know, you know, how they spent like 24 days, 12 days, a few hours or something. They pretty much just want like stats. They want to see analytics on games they've played. So they might see a game I played for two hours, three hours, how much you've completed it by, so on and so on. So pretty much an activity log, very similar to the Nintendo 3DS, which keeps track on what you do in certain games, how long you've played it and so on and so on. So apparently that's quite a requested feature. A lot of people do want to see activity and I understand. So, you know, hopefully, you know, you, know, you never know, this could be, in the next update now moving on to playstation 1 and playstation 2 support now what people are after is either the ability to like put in a ps1 disc or a ps2 disc and download it digitally or games that you purchased before like on the playstation 3 to be playable on the playstation 4 so people really want to see playstation 1 and playstation 2 support some people in the forums did say but they weren't really like they're not fussed about playstation 1 games but it's a, you know, it's a nice to have feature. And I don't know, you know, will they allow this? You never know. I mean, does the PlayStation 4 Pro or the PS4 have enough power? Potentially, right? I mean, the Xbox One currently runs an emulator for 360 games. So I'm sure PlayStation can do something similar. Now, this now moves on to the next topic, which is the PlayStation 3 backwards compatibility. Something which a lot of people want, you know, they want to get a game from their shelf. Well, you know, back in the day, it was all about disc, never about digital. And all we want to do is simply put a disc in and play. Now, Xbox tried doing this, but they sort of faced, like, not like legal issues, but what Xbox faced was, was that some companies didn't really want their old game to be playable on a newer system. A, because the developer or the publisher was thinking of making a remastered version, so obviously they were looking to make more sales, more money, etc. So what Xbox have done is they've had a catalogue, mainly of their exclusives, but they've spoken to developers and publishers to allow their, like, the 360 games to be, like, emulated on the Xbox One. So, like, you 
basically put your 360 disc in on your Xbox One and it will go through a 360 emulator which is playable on the Xbox One at a higher quality, better FPS and so on and so on. So maybe PlayStation could do this with PS1 games, PS2 games and a PlayStation 3 games. I don't know, it's going to be interesting. Now I've made a video specifically on this feature, the PlayStation ID change. Everyone has been requesting this. To be honest, what I spoke about in my video talking about this, Sony believe it could be used for the wrong reasons, but you know, other companies are allowing people to do this. It's another way to make money and you sort of can like, you know, lock it down in terms of how many name changes you can have and so on and so on. Pretty much Sony didn't want people to do was to sort of like bully people. Basically, Sony's argument is that if I were to go into a game, let's say for example, your PlayStation name is like ABC, right? I go into a game and say I start abusing you and my name is like ZZZ. And then let's say I change my name to, I don't know, YYY. And you'll be like, oh, there's some new guy called what? How are you doing, mate? And I'm just blasting you with insults again. So PlayStation are, are fearing that bullying could be involved and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, what people are saying, you know, Xbox do it, other companies do it. And it's another way to make money. And, you know, it can be controlled. So it's going to be interesting. Will this happen? I don't know. It's, it's going to be a long shot, really. Now, moving on to hide items in library. So a lot of people want the ability to hide specific items in the library. For me, I would love to maybe hide like demos or betas or whatever, really. But just have the ability to hide items in the library sounds pretty good. Moving on to ability to sort games within a folder. So, you know, on PlayStation, you now have folders and, you know, all that kind of stuff. You can say, oh, this is my Call of Duty folder and I have all my Call of Duty games in here and so on and so on. You know what a folder is. And people like like the ability to sort of like sort by alphabetically. That sounds reasonable, right? You know, a standard, you know, standard update to have the ability to filter. You know, I could definitely see that happening. Now, one thing which some people are not a fan of is the current notification system. If you know recently there was an update, I think it was like 4.5 or something like that. There was an update to notifications which made it like more simple by, you know, merging everything into one. Whereas, you know, before it was like, you know, downloads, notifications, so on and so on and so on. It was all like separated. And for me, I do prefer the old system to access notifications. Um, but I don't know. Change sometimes is good. What are your thoughts about the notifications currently? Some people are not a fan. Some people do like it. I don't know. I think I do prefer the old one, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. But yeah, those were like the main updates or the main requests from the community. It is interesting. It is very interesting to see what you guys are after. I think the main things is like Activity Log, PlayStation 1, and PlayStation 2 support. I was surprised that like PlayStation Network ID change wasn't like a big update. People wanted Activity Log over there, which I guess is understandable because, you know, is PlayStation Network ID change going to happen? Probably not, but an activity log is more than likely, so I can see where people are coming from. So what are your thoughts about this? You know, what is your favorite feature? Like I said, if I have missed any features, please let me know in the comment section down below. But if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to leave a massive thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, comment down below your thoughts regarding this. But as always, have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.